Hello, everyone. I have a tool that we haven't used much of, but I have to branch out a little because I'm doing, I'm deep into sophomore wrestling and I've got just a few pages left and I'm running out of ideas and I haven't used this a lot yet. So decided it was time. So what I'm gonna do is this is my base page. So I'm going to make a journaling box with the ink pens. So this end is where you put your pen and all these black measurements are your measurements for your pen. So I don't think I want a journal box any more than about four inches. And I'm gonna put it up in the corner, I think, and I'm just gonna test it out. See, I think I can go this way a little more. Okay, gotta get rid of my trimmer. So what I'm gonna do is get a pen and I don't know. I haven't tried this yet, folks. But I think this red pen will go in there. You're gonna hold pressure on this thing. This is what's gonna make your circle. And I can't tell, but I don't think that pen is gonna work. Okay, next. Next style, let's see, I have brown, I have this blue. Let's try this pen. So this is one of our new dot pens. Again, I'm gonna hold pressure on this thing, stick my pen in there, that feels better. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is hold pressure here, twist the knob a little bit, loosen it up, and move this just a little bigger. I'm gonna keep my pressure on my left hand. So this is still, still here, still pressure. Um, I really wish I had a better pen for this. I guess we can do the brown. And you just swing it around. Make perfect circles every time. The other thing you can do, I'm gonna put this back to four, is move it a little and make different circles. Let's use this pink one. I'm gonna scoot it this way. Now, wouldn't that make a great journaling box if you just had some different colors and then added some dots with our dot tips? What a great journal box. Okay, I wish I had a red pen. I need a red pen that will fit in there but I don't have one. So we're just gonna do the blue because brown and pink aren't gonna work for me. We are doing Mavericks. I'm gonna leave it at the four. I'm gonna hold pressure here and check it out. I like it. I'm gonna make a circle. Okay. And then I'm gonna add some dots. Ooh, I could add some red dots. Mark Sinkin. These are my old CM pens from 1999 that still work. Crazy. Okay, so that'll be my journaling box, okay? I'm gonna set this aside. Because now we're gonna do the fun stuff. Okay, this side is where your blade is. And this little button on here if you push that and open it up, that's where your cartridge is that can be replaced. So if you have one of these and you feel like it's getting dull, that's how to open it. Um, the white measurements are the cutting. So in every mark is two tenths of an inch. 
So I'm going to do four inches on this picture. Yes, I'm doing a picture. It's very petrifying. I'm going to stop that video so you guys can see me better, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to put the center of the picture or the center of what I want the picture to be right here. Now, what I've done is I have marked on here and here where my blade's going to cut. So hopefully I will know. And then also on here, these black marks, you can barely see. Those also are supposed to be where you cut. So I'm gonna put it right in the center there like that. And I'm gonna hold pressure on here. You gotta squeeze this button that releases the blade and then you go down. And hold pressure. Okay, so see, it made a good picture, pretty good. I got a little bit off up here, but that's fine. Okay, now what I wanna do is make a mat for that picture. So I got some red paper. I'm gonna make this just a little bigger, like two tenths. Again, I'm gonna put this in the center and you can swing this around to see where it's gonna cut. If you don't want to waste paper, which I do hate doing. And remember, we cut off the picture a little bit so we can cut off this one a little bit, honestly. But I think we're going to be okay. Let's try it. Squeeze the white button and spin it around. Make sure it's cut. Quick and easy map for that picture. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is make some more rings because wrestling has circles in their mats. So that's what we're gonna make. And I'm gonna kind of start in the middle of my page. And I'm gonna start at four again, because that seems to be a good, good size. Hold pressure. Spin around, that should be a four inch circle. Now, I'm not gonna let this go. I'm gonna spin this open to loosen it up and I'm gonna make a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna tighten it again. I did not let this go. So this did not move on my page. Cut around again. And I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna loosen it up without moving this, the whole thing is gonna stay put. And I'm gonna slide my ruler a little bigger again, tighten it up. I'm not really measuring by the way. And swing it around. How about one more time? Loosen it, make it bigger, tighten it, swing around. Ooh, that one's tiny. I might do it one more time just because it's working so well. I need they're gonna make great embellishments for a wrestling page. Okay, that one I made quite a bit bigger. Oh yeah. Okay. Now look at all these rings I've made. This one was probably too small, honestly, but I could hide it under a picture or something. And then because I use designer paper, I can use both sides. Okay, so let's get our base paper back. Let's tape this guy on here. And what I'm gonna do is cut that off or I might put an embellishment there. So I'm gonna leave it for right now. And we can just lay these around. We could even do this. I don't remember what was next, probably this one. So that looks pretty cool too. And there's that mistake. I think I would rather have this that. 
I'm just making my own paper basically. And then I have some more pictures. Um, but to be honest, I might want to make a couple more of them into circles, but I'm scared because some of these pictures go so far off that I think I'll use the good old trusty custom cutting system. I'm just not that confident in my circle maker abilities quite yet. And this is just perfectly handy for this job. I can see exactly where, what I'm gonna have. And if you notice when I cut that picture, the picture moved, which I don't like either. So if you're cutting circles out of paper or uh, making journal mats with pens, that tool is amazing. For pictures, I highly recommend these. Just know that you're gonna be limited to the sizes that they offer, where the circle maker, you're not limited at all. Well, it goes up to 11 inches, 12 inches. You can make a really big circle and all kinds of different uh, sizes where the circle maker from the custom cutting system, you only get uh, six sizes for each shape, three on the inside and three on the outside with the different blades. And I've had these for so long that I'm just a pro out of my guess, so. And one more. I'm sure I've said this before. I'm really sad that wrestling is over. We have our, have my last wrestling banquet this evening. area cleaned up a little bit. Since this is my desk too. Okay, so um, I thought this might go on here, but yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to glue these down. Probably going to use my repositionable. Oh, that's crooked or backwards. And these little guys make it go a little faster. And that way, if I mess up, I can pick it up easier. Look, they're already glued together. Okay, then we wanna put these guys down and I'm gonna use the repositionable on this tiny thing. That one got real tiny. Good. We want to cover that mistake up, so I'll put it this way. Rub off some of the excess glue. I think I'll use my regular for this guy. Like I said, I was running out of ideas for wrestling pages, so I thought I should do this. And I'm gonna put this on top of that. Cover that up. I need something here. Cover that up. Something here. 
and I can journal there, put a, I think this one needs to go in here actually. So we can move this one up a little bit. Put that one there. And maybe these two like this. Well, that was already taped. Okay, so now it just needs some embellishing and I'm done. So, go ahead, be brave like I was. Try this handy dandy tool out. It does make, it does make cutting circles easier and obviously drawing them. That was way easy. I just wish it was easier to cut pictures with it. So that's my honest opinion on this guy. It is easier to use, but I don't like cutting my pictures with it. Okay, there's my tip for today. Have a good night.